Yeah, definitely. Obviously, the team hasn't been selected yet, but um, all the boys are definitely up for it. Um, got a lot of confidence, got a lot of um, you know belief in what we're doing. So um, yeah, definitely a nice opportunity to go down there and uh, give it a good shot. And you've just returned back from injury, playing at uh, playing at Leicester at the weekend. I mean, can you tell us a little bit more about your injury and? Uh, yeah, no, sure. It was it was really nice to get back uh, after about a month out, just with uh, so they had a, quite a bit of swelling on the knee, and it all fed back into a cyst in the, the back of my knee, which uh, takes quite a while to get away. Um, it also burst a bit, so it complicated things a little bit. But uh, it's pretty much all gone now, and uh, yeah, I just really have to be back. Um, obviously, there's a lot of uh, competition, and just all the boys are keen to go now, so I was. Pretty happy to be able to get back and get a game in under before we start this next nine run. And, stint. and with Gary Gold coming in, I mean, what changes have you seen uh, since he's come in, as well as Mike Ford and mm -hmm. John Wells? Oh, look, I mean, they, you definitely couldn't have got a better um, coaching staff with more experience and international caps if you tried. So, obviously, that in itself is just a huge, uh, you know, a huge boost for the boys and a lot of adds a lot of belief to um, the systems they've put in place. Basically, they've simplified everything, um, made the game as plan as simple as possible so that everybody's on the right page, we know what we're doing in certain areas of the field, everybody knows their roles, everybody's bought into it and uh, yeah I mean you can see the results again, Sale, yeah. obviously Leicester, um, uh, we let ourselves down in a couple of key areas which we're going to work on for the, this week to take into Bath but then again you know um, we won that second half and uh, you know Leicester's a great side and uh, always tough to go down there and win in those conditions so at the end of the day, um, you know, we'll take a lot of confidence out that game and moving on to this game on the weekend. And you mentioned Leicester. I mean, would you agree a few months ago we would have possibly capitulated going 13-0 down in the first half, but yeah. uh, you held it together yeah. and uh, showed great character to um, to get that try in the second half from Jimmy? Yeah, I mean, you know, definitely, uh, it, you know, it could have gone the other way uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, but, uh, you know, we've, we've worked on a lot of things, defence especially, our kicking game. And uh, I think you can, it shows on the field, uh, <clears throat> just uh, our defence definitely has picked up quite a bit. Just, uh, you know, we're not a bad defending side, but now we've just got a bit more structure in what we're doing. Um, and, yeah, I think we, we, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of belief, a lot of confidence with the boys. And um, the, the addition of these coaches they've brought in now has just uh, also just given a whole new dimension to our, to our game for these next few games coming up. And you featured against Bath at the start of the season. I mean, what are you expecting from Bath <coughs> next week? I mean, uh, I've never gone down there to the wreck and played, but uh, obviously, uh, you know, a really tough competitive side. I think we're going to see a <coughs> quite a battle, um, you know, a lot of big hits and that sort of thing. Uh, they've obviously, you know, the results weren't going their, well, their way also for quite a while. But uh, those, these last couple of games, they've got some really good wins under the belt. So they're obviously going to be going into a lot of confidence, wanting to move mm -hmm. up the table. Uh, but you know, we sort of we're going to analyze them, get it, just know what we. As long as we know what we're going to do, you know, we will worry about what they're going to do on the field. And there seems to be a feel-good factor <coughs> around the club at the moment, particularly with the new coaches coming in. But there must there's, there seems to be a real confidence now to go on and strive and secure this Premiership status. I mean, definitely. I mean, there's a lot of pride in the jersey, a lot of pride within the group, with the guys. You know, I'm obviously a new guy in here, but I've just been caught up in everybody's belief and. With Jimmy, you know, he's just signed another three years. It's just a, another yeah. sort of little push in the right direction. You know, he's be, he's one of the, the great players in world rugby, and uh, for him to commit himself for another three years just shows his belief and his belief in what we're doing. And there's definitely, I mean, not that that is necessary, but there's a massive belief for the boys about in ourselves and what we've got in place now. So I think if we just stick to what we're going to do. In the next couple of games, the results will take care of themselves, and you know we won't really have to be worrying about relegation. And with Jimmy signing on for these extra three three years, I mean it does suggest there's a long-term project in place. To I mean definitely, you know we've got very tough. Mm, uh, Seymour's got uh, obviously a couple of plans in place, but um, just this coaching staff they've brought on now, and uh, you know there's there's big plans for the club, and uh, everybody wants to be a part of something big and part of what the Falcons have in the future. So. Um, you know, that's sort of one side of the thing, but right now for us, we're just concentrating on the next game coming up and the next game after that, and, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, we can start worrying about what's going to happen next year. And it's your first season in England. I mean, how are you finding <coughs> life on Tyneside? I look really enjoying it. I was expecting a bit more snow, but finally we've got a bit of a sprinkling around. Mm -hmm. um, but, no, really enjoyed it here. Yeah, the people are great. Um, 
my wife and family, my little guy, have, um, you know, we've settled in well, there's lots to do. We just, apart from rugby, family life here is really good, so it's been a good, real positive move, and we're pretty happy with, well, we're very happy with having come here. Thanks, Greg. Cool. Thank you. Thanks.